Hey guys, um, I'm back with another video. It's Cammy's Cam. Um, don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I'm just back with an update on my conceiving journey. So today, today I think it's cycle day 12. And today I had my second doctor's appointment, fertility appointment for this cycle, for this round of IUI. Um, and... It went great. I really didn't catch the numbers. Well, I don't think she even said them out loud, the sizes of my follicles and how many I have on each side. I don't think she said, but I think, but I do know she said on the left side I had some big ones, which was a good thing, some good size ones. Um, and then just a while ago, I got some good news, meaning on cycle day 14, basically, I will supposedly have my IUI done so tomorrow night they want me to give my ovulus shot um that's what you do in your stomach it's the trigger shot um they want me to give that between 6 and 8 p.m hopefully i'm off work by then um after the ovulus shot they want us to have intercourse and then after that um Two days later, we'll go in at 7 a.m. for labs, ultrasound. Um, he'll give his sample. They'll do the wash. And then we'll, four hours later, we'll go back for the actual procedure. Is what I was told. So I'm super excited. Um, the closer it gets, I'm, I guess I might be getting a little anxious. But I'm more excited than anything. Because I just know everything's going to work out. Um, so I just wanted to update you all with that. And I will let you all know how it goes. She told me I don't need to take any Tylenol or any pain medicine. It's nothing like the HSG, thankfully, because that procedure was torture to me in my little ovaries. <laughs> uh, so she said I don't need to take any pain medicine. Um, after the IUI, most likely four days after that, I will be doing the adrestrone suppositories. Mine look like little balls of, I don't know. They're just little, look like little sweet peas. That's about the size they are. My little capsules or pills. And those are suppositories that you um, insert vaginally. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> and I do one twice a day. When a pharmacist talked to me about it, she said that um, with those progesterone tablets, I asked her, could I just do them both at the same time, you know? Take both of them at night, t the two pills at night for the progesterone suppositories she told me no the point of taking it twice a day is because you want to evenly spread out the timing of the progesterone how it's released into your body so it can kind of balance out so the best thing to do I guess is to do one in the morning and one at night to space it out um, and do that for four days because I do have them for four I'll do that for four days I believe it's four days which is four days after the IUI um what else? I really didn't get my labs back yet, like my LH and stuff. They haven't sent those yet, but according to the call, I guess they have them and it was good enough to where my IUI can be scheduled. So y'all just pray with me. I'm trying to look, but they didn't come up yet. They usually send all of my results to your email or your patient portal, but that hasn't come up yet. But Y'all pray for me, wish me the best, and I wish you the best. I will keep y'all updated. Uh, me and my husband are so excited. I'm extremely excited. Uh, kind of been waiting on this moment. Then saved up money. And it'll all work out. Um, and I think that's all, you guys. Um... If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any tips, let me know. And uh, I guess that's all. Cycle day 12. On to the next. Oh, and that is one last thing. Uh, my letrozole. I told you guys I usually take my letrozole on days, cycle day 5 through 9. But this time they changed it up. And I, take, I took it cycle days 3 through 9. 7.5 milligrams so basically that's three pills for five days from three through nine um and i don't know why they changed it up unless they forgot i was normally doing it from cycle day five to nine but i guess it still worked thankfully 
Um, so yeah, just keep me in y'all's prayers. Hope everything goes right. And I can't wait to deliver the news to my YouTube family and give you all some hope and inspiration of my um, conceiving positive pregnancy test. Um, and just give me any tips you have or anything you want me to know or just any comments of love. Don't forget to like. Like if you want me to get pregnant this cycle. Alright, talk to y'all later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.